Today I'll be showing you how to add black halftones from Duplatone into a piece colored with ColorLab Color Halftones. First, after downloading your black halftone brushes from Duplatone, you're going to want them to be with the ColorLab brushes that they go with. Import the brush set to Procreate. Then go to your black halftone brushes and select them all by sliding each one to the right. Now that they're all selected, hold down on them and drag them into the Color Lab brush folder. I did this right beneath my blue halftone brushes. I've already added all of my color halftones to this piece. To see how I did this, please refer to the Coloring with Color Lab comic halftones video. Create a new layer above your color halftone layers. Set this layer to multiply. On this new layer, using black halftone brushes and the color black, we will begin filling in our black halftones. Starting with the black 3 brush, I'm going to add some shade along the floor of the cage. After that, using the black 4 brush, I will add some shade under the brim of the zookeeper's hat. These black halftones are at a specific screen angle that allows them to work in conjunction with our color halftones. Using the correct halftone brush with the proper color is important in making all of these halftone layers work together how they're supposed to. Staying on this black halftone layer, keep going through and shading using the halftone brushes provided. Once this is done, add a slight Gaussian blur to replicate the ink bleed that would happen if this were a real printed comic. I won't be throwing the registration off with this black halftone layer, as it would be part of the same printing plate as the black lines if it were printed traditionally. There you have it! We've added black shading using Duplatone black halftones on top of a piece colored with ColorLab.